Hi, my dear students. Welcome back to the session. So, the most awaited session, the part 2 is heredity and evolution. So, even the session is complete. Madre. So, I have completely covered all the important topics from the lesson heredity and evolution for your board examination preparation. Okay. So, even the session, ali, in the 12 questions na nimge explain Martini from the lesson heredity and evolution with the concept clarity. Okay. So, if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share my videos with your friends. And this is the video series 16. So, 16th series idu. Already I have uploaded 15 series for your board examination preparation. So, do watch all the video series and get good marks in your examination. So, however, without delaying much, let us start today's video. So, the first question is an example of homologous organs is. Okay. Here the options are our arms and the dog's foreleg, our teeth and an elephantus, potato and the runners of grass and all the above. So first of all, what is meant by the homologous organs? So when we talk about the homologous organs, homologous organs are the organs which have the same origin. Origin is the same but function in agarate different function na perform madate enu homologous organs okay origin same irate function different perform madate so when we read all these options first option nodi our arm and the dog's foreleg see nam idakke ee dog ge hagu namma ondu arms foreleg andre front region namma hands okay so idra structure in agarate similarity iridakke Similarity is the structure ali adre perform mode of function. Now we have to hands na to hold the things we are using. But dogs in maadate, run maadake, walk maadake, use maadate. Adre in the origin same irate, but function different irate. So the first option is the example for the homologous organ. So next second option ala nodo dadre, our teeth and an elephant tusk. See both are having the similar origin. Okay, their origin is same but they perform the different task. They perform different function. So, second option is also example for homologous organs. What about the third one? Potato and the runners of grass. Potato and the runners of grass, they are also homologous organs. Yakendre, they both represent a stem. They both represent a stem. So, that is why option D is the correct answer. Option D is the correct answer. It is all the above. Options, they are the example for the homologous organs because they have the same origin but they perform different function. So, this concept basis is the question the chances 100% irate. Okay. So, moving to next question. Round and yellow seeds is. See, when we say round, it is a capital R and capital R. So, when we say yellow, it is capital Y and capital Y. So, in the textbook, round yellow is crossing between the wrinkled green. So, this round yellow is the See, round is the dominant trait. Yellow is also the dominant trait. So, this option is incomplete dominance, recessive, hybrid and dominant. So, the correct answer, the correct option is option D, dominant. Because round is also the dominant trait and yellow is also the dominant trait. Suppose it is small r, small r, small y, small y. This is nothing but the wrinkled yellow. So, wrinkled yellow, it will become recessive. This is completely recessive. But this is completely dominant. Okay. So, option D is the correct answer. Moving to next question. All dissimilarities of characteristics between the members of same species are called. See, when we say dissimilarities, the dissimilarities andre varieties jasti identa. So, varieties jasti identa yenanta artha variations identa artha. Okay, all dissimilarities of characters between members of same species. For example, let us take an example of dog. See, dog is considered as one species. Okay, but now you got dogs in another way, we can see variety of dogs. There are so many variations in dogs. How the law? So, this is the example for variation. All the dissimilarities of characteristics between the members of the same species, we will call this as variation. What is meant by mutation? 
so mutation is nothing but the change in the sequence of dna so then what is meant by heredity so heredity andre iga enagutte continuity of features from one generation to another generation characters enagutte inherit aagta hogutte heredity li so crossing over na we cannot consider this option as the answer so here we cannot consider option a option c and option d here the correct answer is the option b that is the variation because the variations are the dissimilarities of characteristics that we can see between the members of same species so this is the example for variation moving to fourth question which one of the following is the heredity matter nodi thumba simple agiro question so heredity matter iga nimma body ge yavudu ondu specific trait bandide for example let us take the color of eyeball so nimma parents na ondu eyeball color black agide father du mother du iga brown agide anta ankoli so nimage bandirodanta ondu eyeball color iga black agide anta let us think so idu hege bantu nimge it is because of the presence of dna okay dna is a genetic material so dna is a genetic material which carries the information okay so which carries the information from parents to offspring so hence it is considered as the heredity matter adana now heredity matter anta heltivi okay so when we look at the option here rna is there rna is nothing but the ribonucleic acid dna is nothing but deoxy ribonucleic acid so in the ribosomes and mitochondria they are all considered as a cell organelles inside a cell okay so here the correct answer is the option b dna it is considered as the heredity matter next fifth question is unfertilized human ovum contains see ovum anta heldaga you should be quickly getting an idea it is completely belonging to female okay so ega every month enagutte female na body ninda andre ovaries inda one egg release agutte and female contain perfect pair of chromosomes that is xx chromosome so every month what happen one egg will be released so this one egg contain one chromosome one x chromosome okay because it will be waiting for another chromosome from the father as it is released to the fallopian tube because fallopian tube ge ban takshana en madute ovaries inda sperm enter agoke kaayta irutte yavaga adu fertilization agala yavaga sperm jothe combine agala enagutte adu unfertilized agutte okay iga illiruvanta ond x ge father inda enadru y bandre enagutte so idu fertilize agutte yavaga father inda y baralla enagutte idu unfertilized agutte so unfertilized egg alli en irutte 1x chromosome irutte if you look at the option you can observe here when you look at the option one pair of x chromosome xy chromosome y chromosome and one x chromosome and the correct answer here is the option d one x chromosome one pair complete agi irala yake andre one pair bandre xx enagutte father inda bandiddu serkondu three chromosomes agirutte okay this is not possible so only one chromosome will be carried in the egg okay so option d is the correct answer moving to sixth question the impressions of dead animals or plant that lived in the remote past are known as so bhoomiya olagade tumba kelagade aaladalli enagirutte so dead remains of animals and the plants so many things irutte so idella hege hoyitu over a generation enayitu so due to earthquake agirbodu lot of natural calamities in the enayitu idella enayitu bhoomiya olgade hogi settle aayitu so settle aada idu enayitu over a generation generation pass aagta aagta enayitu olagadane adu fossils aayitu so we call them as a fossil fossil fears anta heltivi okay so we won't call it as extinct species we won't call it as naturally selected species so none of the above na tagolakke agode illa because we have the answer so illi namatra answer ide fossils anta answer ide so the impressions of dead animals or plant that lived remote past that is example for the fossils hope nim ellarigu kuda clear aagi nan explain maartirodu artha aagtide ankotini because before shading the answer in your omr it is very very important to recheck your answer whether it is 100% correct 
ಒಂದು ಸತಿ ಓ ಎಮ್ ಆರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಶೇಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇರೇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ವೇರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದು ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ವೇರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಅಂತ ನಿಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಕಾರ್ ಬಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ಬಾಡಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಕಾರ್ ಒಂದು ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಗೆ ಅದು ಇರೋಲ್ಲ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಅ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ವೇರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ನಾಟ್ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಓಲ್ಡರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಅದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ವೇರಿಯೇಷನ್ ನೋ ಸ್ಯಾಮ್ ಈಟ್ಸ್ ಮೀಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಹರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಸವಿ ಈಸ್ ಅ ವೆಜಿಟೇರಿಯನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಕೋರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ಅ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಟೂ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಕಲರ್ ನೀವು ಹಾಗೂ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನು ನೀವು ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡಾಗ ಯು ಮೇ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಕಲರ್ ಐ ಬಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬ್ರೌನ್ ಕಲರ್ ಐ ಬಾಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಐ ಕಲರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಕಲರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ವೇರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೀಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಜೀನ್ಸ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಕಲರ್ ಬರಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಜೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಗೆ ಬ್ರೌನ್ ಕಲರ್ ಐ ಬಾಲ್ ಬರಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಜೀನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟೂ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಕಲರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ವೇರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಏತ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಾಸಿಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡೀಪರ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ಈಗ ನಾವು ಫಾಸಿಲ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ನೋಡೋದಾದ್ರೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಭೂಮಿಯ ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಲೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಲೇಯರ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾಸಿಲ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಓಕೆ ವಾಟ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಾಸಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡೀಪರ್ ಲೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಹೇಳಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂದು ಹಿಂಟ್ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿ ಡೀಪರ್ ದ ಲೇಯರ್ ಓಲ್ಡರ್ ದ ಫಾಸಿಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಈಗ ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಡೀಪ್ ಆಗಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಟ್ರೇಸಸ್ ಸಿಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಸೊ ಇದು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಭೂಮಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಬಂದದ್ದು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೇಯರಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಏನೋ ಒಂದು ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ನ ಟ್ರೇಸಸ್ ಸಿಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಈ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಬಂದ ನಂತರ ಈ ಒಂದು ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಭೂಮಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಬಂದದ್ದು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಡೀಪರ್ ದ ಫಾಸಿಲ್ ಓಲ್ಡರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈ ಒಂದು ಹಿಂಟ್ ಗೊತ್ತಿರಬೇಕು ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಹಸ್ ಅಕ್ಕಡ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಕ್ಕಡ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಎಗೋ ಹೌದು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಫಾಸಿಲ್ಸ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡೀಪೆಸ್ಟ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಡೆಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಕೂಡ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಏನಂತ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಕ್ಕರ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡೀಪರ್ ದ ಫಾಸಿಲ್ ಓಲ್ಡರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಅ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ದ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾಸಿಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಈಗ ನಾನು ಏನು ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಒಂದು ಲೇಯರಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಇದೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ಲೇಯರಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ
there is no evolutionary connection between the reptiles and birds no there is connection feathers are homologous structures in both the organisms no because they don't have the same function birds have evolved from the reptiles yes this is the correct answer okay so explanation could have made i hope you all have understood question number 10 the theory of evolution of species by natural selection was given by so it is given by none other than charles darwin charles darwin he has given the theory of evolution of species by the natural selection so the next question is the change in the frequency of certain genes in a population over generations is called dash melruku kuda matte matte helta idini please go through each and every sentence of mechanism of evolution mechanism of evolution alli nalaku important agi tilkolbekagirudu nivu ide first one bandu mutation then natural selection genetic drift and also migration one of the sentence answer ide ee ella sentence tu definitions tilkoli okay so ill change in the frequency of certain genes in a population over genetic generation this is the statement of genetic drift okay in mutation andre eno change in the dna sequence migration andre eno movement of organisms from one place to another place so natural selection andre eno something which is happening with the help of nature so beetles bage hindina sessions allu nan nimge ond example kottidini okay so mechanism of evolution is very very important so here the correct answer is the option number c that is genetic drift this is the statement for it so the next question is which of the following pair of organ is not homologous again e question allu not anno word ide please carefully note that iruvanta examples alli yavudu homologous alla looking at the first option four limbs of human and lizards origin same ide function different ide so it is homologous four limbs of lizard and frog again origin same ide function different ide this is also homologous whereas the wings of butterfly and bat this is the example for analogous idu analogous yake andre idurdu structure different ide function same ide option d you cannot take because option c is the correct answer wings in the butterfly and bat they are the example for analogous organs not the homologous so here the correct answer is the option c I hope students, I know you have a complete concept in the art of the from the lesson Heredity and Evolution. So, these 24 multiple choice questions that you have hail in the Heredity and Evolution lesson in the multiple choice complete you have to exam preparation. Ge help so, only in the slight formation of question only change you have to do the concept of exam. I feel this complete session you have to use in the art of the If you find this video is useful, ಒಂದು ಥಮ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಕೊಡಿ ವಿಡಿಯೋಗೆ ಹಾಗೂ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಒಂದಿಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೈ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಟು ಟೆನ್ ಕೆ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬರ್ಸ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ 